Hello, Mr. G here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a couple of plants. We have a bean plant and a corn plant. And in class we have been discussing different systems living things have, like the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, skeletal system, muscular system, the digestive system, and the excretory system. All are very important uh, working together to help a living thing stay alive. And we've been talking also about the levels of organization within these systems like cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and a whole complete organism. How does that relate to plants? Do plants have systems? The answer is yes. They have multiple parts that make up the whole plant or the organism. And every single plant has to carry out like functions. They don't have a heart like we do but they have a way of moving things around inside of their bodies. They also have a way to respond to the environment. They have structural components like skeletal. Um, they do grow and move within their space, but not tiptoe across your lawn. Uh, they can digest and break down food and also get rid of waste, things like respiratory waste. So plants are fascinating creatures. So today in class, when we're working with the plants, what we want to do is literally kind of disassemble uh, the plant, looking at its pieces and parts. And so I have the, the two plants that we'll be working with. I have the corn plant and our bean plant. I'm just going to take out our, our bean plant and look at that really quickly. You can see that it has roots. Right, and stems and leaves. And in, in a couple of these plants, we even have some flowers and fruits on them. So what we want to do is take a look at the stem. Today, we want to look at the, the leaves. We want to look at the roots. And we want to do that through a cross section and also a longitudinal section. And I'm going to show you how to uh, cut the plant very carefully with a scalpel show you how I want you to handle that and try to get a very thin cut so the light can pass through it and we can observe those parts and those pieces through the compound light microscope. And I know you know how to use those, those really well. So I'll have you come on in here and we'll take a look at how to, to obtain those pieces, those parts to examine. And I've taught you how to make a wet mount slide. Remember we're going to use water and put a drop of water on there and a cover slip in our specimen. So, all right, come on in and we'll, we'll take a look at that. All right, here's the tools that, that we're going to have. We're going to have some forceps to, to hold the plant so we do not have a scalpel in hand and our fingers on the plant. We're going to be using the tools. So, we got our forceps, our sharp scalpel that we're going to be very careful with, our plant, and uh, a water dropper and of course we're going to have a slide and we're going to have a cover slip. So these are the things that uh, that we'll need. All right so first let's go ahead and do a cross section of the stem. So I'm going to turn this like so and I'm going to use my trusty little forceps and I'm going to hold on to the plant there like so and I'm going to put my scalpel, I'm going to hold it kind of like a pencil and I'm going to make one incision like right there and I kind of like to, I'm going to put this off this side, I'm going to use this one right here, I like it nice and green and so I'm going to cut just a really thin sample, I want it real thin remember I want that light to pass through now that's a pretty good cross section right there, it's not perfectly uh, circular, but a real good cross section. And what I'm going to do now is grab the, the medicine dropper with some water and I'm going to put a little drop of water right there and right on top of my slide. And then I would put my cover slip on, but I want to do a couple of these just to kind of show you uh, how that would, would look. So again, I'm going to grab the stem. So my, my fingers are not right next to the stem and the scalpel at the same time and I'm going to have slow controlled movements Again, I'm going to hold right next to it and I'm get a nice, soft, slow movement. And I have, this one's a little thicker. You might be able to tell that's a little thicker. I never touch the scalpel blade with anything but the forceps. So 
That one's a little thicker, isn't it? But I can see those tubes. I can see the tubes that are used to transport food and water. And that is kind of like a cardiovascular system in a way because we're, gonna, we're moving fluids around in vessels. And so plants do the same thing through tubes that we call xylem and phloem. I'm going to do another one. This is too fun to stop now. Right, so I'm going to grab it. I'm going to make a perfect one right here. Nice and thin. Let's see. Ah, finally. I'm one for three. Now when I put this under the scope, y'all, and notice how I'm using very slow movements. I'm not moving fast at all. Slow, deliberate movements. I'm going to take and make sure my scalpel is off out of the way so I can't accidentally hit that. And I'm going to put my cover slip on, remember, at an angle. I, th I can see that I'm going to need a little more water on that, so I'm going to put a little water right there. Okay. And ching! Here we go. In fact, I'm still going to need a little more. Put a little water on the side, and the surface tension will suck that right in. And when I put this under the scope, I only need one. And I did a couple just to kind of demonstrate, but, but that is, is beautiful. Um, wonderful patterns, and we'll be able to see the xylem and phloem and the f where the food and water would travel through in the plant. All right, the next one, I'm going to push this off to the side here, is we do a longitudinal section. And I'm going to get my new slide here, and I'm gonna, again, I'm going to grab the stem, and I'm going to make an incision right here. I'm just going to just barely go underneath. Make a nice little cut. Right there. That's beautiful. I'm going to do another one. Just to show you, you only need to do one in class. Here's another one. This, is, this one's a lot easier for me. I'm going to go down like this, and then I'm going to get a Another cross section, or excuse me, longitudinal section, a little deeper. Right there. Ah, oh, perfect. Because I can now I can see some some different tissues, and they're going to be arranged differently, right? So I'll put down my scalpel, and I would get my cover slip, and put that down, and I'm ready to go. We'll take turns doing this in class where everyone gets a chance that wants to. So now I have two slides, right? So I have a cross section and a longitudinal section. The next thing we do is we want to take a look at the roots. And so to get the roots, it's easy. We don't necessarily need to use the scalpel when we get you know, root samples. And so we want to get a little piece of the root. So we can put some water on our slide. We want a wet mount slide. And I want to grab some of the root. And ideally, the root that you will have on your plant hopefully will be more robust than, than this one. So I can put a little root right there. That one's really easy. I didn't even need the scalpel for that. And I put my cover slip on. And if there's not a lot of water all the way through, it looks like you know, it's coming. Looks good. So now I have my root. I'll be able to see root hairs, uh, vascular cylinder. Uh, and various tissues that are participating in absorbing water and nutrients. Okay, the last one we're going to do is looking at the stomata. And these are the little tiny openings. They look like lips, actually, under, on the underside of the leaf. So we want to get the, the grass, the monocot, or the corn. And we just want a little uh, piece of the leaf. So I can just rip that with my fingers. It's a wet mount slide. Put a little drop of water. And I stick the leaf down on there. Now the leaf is, is kind of waxy. It has something called a cuticle on it and it kind of repels the water. And so when I put the cover slip on, that's when the water will kind of cover that leaf. And that looks pretty good. That's a little excessive water right there. All right. So again, when we put that under the microscope, we would be looking at medium power at the most. Um, if we have to, we'll go to high power to see those stomata. And that helps to bring in the respiratory gases. So we're going to have, you know, like carbon dioxide go in there and oxygen come out through those little tiny openings that we call the stomata. 
You know, I love microscopes. They're a lot of fun to analyze living things. And so, what I want to do is review really quickly. Remember, this is your coarse adjustment knob, your fine adjustment knob. These are your objective lenses and your eyepiece. We're probably only going to use the low power, the red, and we'll need to switch to the yellow, which is the medium power. Those are the two powers that we're going to use today. Well, we start off with your coarse adjustment knob, and then you can go to your fine adjustment knob. So now I'm taking my, my slide, wet mount slide, and I have the cross sections of the bean plant. So I'm going to put that on the stage. And I have two on there now. We probably will only have one from class, but I'm going to put my stage clips on now. So I'm going to push that down the back and carefully put my stage clips on. And we're going to take my stage and grab my course adjustment knobs and bring the stage up. When it stops, I don't keep turning because that can damage the scope, right? So we stop turning it, we look through the scope, and I'll grab my course adjustment knob and move it down until it comes into focus. I'm going to go real slow and voila, beautiful. Now I'm looking at a very interesting arrangement of cells. I see the outer portion of the stem and some little hair-like things that are coming off it. You're going to really enjoy looking at these. And I can see that the tubes, the xylem and the phloem and some cortex cells. I want to find adjustment just a little bit. I'm going to move it slightly to see the pith. Yeah, that is really neat, you guys. I still get excited at looking at plant tissues, even though I've seen it over and over and over again. I'm going to go in a little closer. I like the low power for this because they're so big. I'm going to medium. So I'm going to switch to my yellow. And it's right there where I need it. So I'm going to use my fine adjustment and just go back and forth just a little bit until it's in view. Nicely done. Yes. That's a sweet spot. You can take pictures too, remember. All right. You guys have got to see this. So what I need to have you do is remember safety first. I can see the cell wall, y'all. We should probably... I should probably take a picture of that. So be very careful. Enjoy the experience. I, would, I want you to see cross sections, longitudinal sections. I want you to look at the roots and see the fascinating parts of the root. And I want you to see those, those plant lips, those stomata. Amazing structures that allow the gases to go in and out of plants. All right, thanks for joining me all.